If I look tired or frustrated to you, it's because I am. Hi, I'm Matt, and this is Not Enough Tech. And uh, the box you see in front of me, it's a last buy. This is a box I built two years ago for about 50 to 60 dollars and it contains Raspberry Pi 2 driven network attached storage with three different drives, hot swappable base, Plex server which is 1.4 terabytes, this is Ride Zero uh, Samba drive which I can serve files locally or externally which I do use for the website work because it's great for pictures and I've been using this box for two years without any issues. Recently, with the release of Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, I was really tempted to add this as the driver of this box, mostly because it promises three times the speed of Raspberry Pi 2. <sighs> and you can, you can imagine I spent way too much time on this without getting a good result. So with that disappointment, uh, because I already shot everything and the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus is installed inside, I'll show you what I did and what happened. To showcase the benchmarking of the Raspberry Pi 2, I'm transferring 2GB file over. This is a single file and it takes about 3 minutes to transfer over the local network. Now to show you how uh, the time is affected by multiple files, I have nearly 200 pictures in a folder uh, which is just about 2 gigabytes as well and the same uh, process, it takes about 3 minutes and 17 seconds to transfer the files over. Before you start playing with hardware, word of warning, and learn from my mistakes because I got a rainbow screen, mostly because I swapped the um, the cards overthinking everything should be alright, isn't it? Now I had a rainbow screen before when I was swapping over the cards from Raspberry Pi 0 to Raspberry Pi W 0 W because of different boards and different updates need to be done. So do sudo apt dash get distro update upgrade, sorry, and you should be just fine switching the card over. I ended up actually uh, installing a new version of Open Media Vault on the Raspberry Pi 3 from my Raspberry Pi 2 and rebuilding the array as well. Uh, how I did this, uh, I'm gonna add the, all the commands in the description of this uh, video. So head back in there if you're facing similar problem, you have to uh, rebuild the graded RAID or uh, add the drives again. Upgrading my NASPY to Raspberry Pi 3 B+, has been proven more difficult than I initially thought. Removing the USB socket uh, was complicated and required a couple of approaches at first. I've used a soldering, then a heat gun, none of which worked until actually I started to get all nasty with tweezers and cutters. I've removed all the pins uh, that were associated with the USB socket and literally started to removing bits by bits until I left with the initial pins. Now, so with the USB socket desoldered, it was time to pick the box apart, remove the Raspberry Pi 2 from inside. I've disconnected some cables and I was ready for the final swap once the board was released. Now, because everything is already connected to the board, all I had to do is just uh, resolder the connection and the power. I've started with the power itself, and it only took me a couple of moments just to get the um, wires placed as such. So this is a ground at the top and a positive at the bottom pad. Now, I've added also on the seventh row uh, between the ground and GPIO a button, uh, so I could use this to power off and restart my NASPy. Once everything was completed, I simply put the new board in, screwed that in and connected it using the existing cables. Now lastly, I've placed the button uh, behind the logo. I hid the cables as well because I had the vent holes ready and all I had to do is just regroup Raspberry Pi logo on the standoffs. That way the button was almost invisible and I could restart it by pressing it for two seconds or power the box off by pressing the, the button for five seconds. The hardware modification has been completed so all I had to do is just close the box. Yeah. 
the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, it's installed inside. So let's benchmark this board and see what the real life results are. Now, you might be surprised because I was surprised too to see that the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus performs worse than Raspberry Pi 2. And I was scratching my head for two days trying to find a solution and the only way to fix this was to limit the Ethernet speed to 100 megabits per second. And that makes no sense because, you know, I bought this board, board in purpose. I wanted to get that up to 300 megabits per second speed to improve the NAS performance. And I could not get anywhere close to the previous performance to begin with. Now the only workable solution was to limit uh, that uh, Ethernet programmatically and that's why I ended up doing and running on each reboot. reboot. So what's the takeout take out from that? Uh, if you already have a NAS box like this and you're running it on any other Pi, don't upgrade it, don't bother. For now, uh, mine's gonna run Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, uh, limited programmatically, and I hope that with time the solution will come and the network driver will improve, allowing me to take advantage of the interface, in network interface. Until then, if you already have a board installed, then don't upgrade it. There's no point to it, it's the pointless upgrade to make. Now, if you don't have a NAS box and you were thinking about uh, building one, there isn't much options really because all of the three boards cost nearly the same. And unless you're gonna have Raspberry Pi 2 laying around somewhere, uh, then whatever you're gonna buy is gonna be equally good or equally bad in terms of uh, Raspberry Pi 3B+. Uh, anyway, so you're not going to feel a downgrade in a performance. What you're gonna feel, it's a, a big disappointment that uh, after spending some money on a new Raspberry Pi B+, you're not getting any better speeds. So, with that bitter disappointment, if you want to find out more about projects I make, follow me on social media. It'll cheer me up after this uh, two days of uh, trying to figure this out. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, yeah, leave me a comment what you think about the Raspberry Pi 3V Plus speeds. And I promise to see you in the next video. Until then, take care.